If you are wondering what you can buy for a million dollars in the Boston suburbs, then this video is for you. You can buy a nice home for under a million dollars. So today I'm going to provide a sampling of five homes in Wellesley, Needham and Weston to give you an idea of what's out there. I'm Jane. Welcome to my channel, Living in the Boston Suburbs. And today I'm going to share my perspective on the best homes that were for sale in the first half of 2022 in some great Boston suburbs. If you have any specific questions about any of these homes or the market in your price range, then drop a comment or give me a call. So let's dive in. This is 305 Linden Street in Wellesley, which was my listing. And we put on the market for $8.99 and we had multiple offers and it closed for just at a million dollars. So what made this house really appealing was it had high walkability to town, train and school. And the young family had done a beautiful job updating it. So as you can see, the kitchen is gorgeous. They put in granite countertops, high-end stainless appliances. The light fixtures were, re were really fun. It was open to the dining area. Every room had tasteful finishes. It had a really nice mud room that they had created, which was attached to the garage. Upstairs, there were two bedrooms. And as you can see, this is a typical cape. The ceilings are quite slanted. In fact, going back to the exterior, this is a classic cape. A cape is actually unique to New England. It's the full name is Cape Cod style. So they are center entrance homes, typically with double hung windows and a pretty low pitched roof. So as you can see, when you get up to the bedroom, the ceilings are slanted. So that's what a cape is. Now, what you also need to know about this house is that it backed up to the commuter rail. So the owners liked that location because you could walk to town and train, you could walk to Starbucks, but you do have to deal with the noise of the train going by. So the tasteful updates were what made this house really shine. The second home we're featuring today is 14 Brookdale Ave. So even though it's on an avenue, it's actually a very quiet dead end street and another classic cape from the front. And as you can see, there's a big addition off the back. This was off of a Western Road, which is on the northwest part of town. So not walk to town, but still a very nice neighborhood. I think the buyers of this home got a really good deal. It was originally listed for a million fifty, and it closed for nine sixty five. Here's a view from the back, so you can see. Here's the big addition a giant deck, nice play area, and there's actually a little brook that runs along behind it, hence the name Brookdale. It was tastefully updated, but there was something funky about the floor plan, and this is why I think the house sat and why I think it sold for under a million. You can see that um, there's this staircase that's a spiral that goes up to this door, which leads to a tiny room, and that room is over the kitchen. So it's kind of a spiral staircase to nowhere. Here's another view of the living room. And as you can see, the main staircase goes up here. So there was um, a nice bedroom. So basically the funky floor plan contributed to the lower selling price. So you had a great room. The kitchen is off to this side behind the fireplace. And there was a nice big dining area, which was again, also a little bit cut off from the, the kitchen. There were two first floor bedrooms with a full bath and upstairs, there was another full bath and a couple bedrooms. So if you'd like to see the floor plan, drop me a line and I will email it to you. And now we're gonna move on to Weston. This house is located on Conant Road, which is a main road. In fact, here's a map of Weston. Actually, I did a video all about Weston if you wanna check that out. Weston is a small town with an adorable town center, but it definitely has more expensive real estate than the neighboring towns. You might be surprised to find out that there's things for sale under a million dollars, but this house was on for 970 and it closed for 920. This is an example of a ranch style home and there's a deck off the back. Lots in Weston are larger in general than in Wellesley and Needham. So this particular lot, was 1.4 acres. And this home had three bedrooms and one and a half baths. So as you can see, it is nicely updated with a newer kitchen, granite countertops, and nice hardwood floors. And the nice thing about Weston is you do get a lot of homes up with wooded views. So there has a nice long driveway and a two-car garage. 
So this is an example of a home that you could live in as is, or you could do an addition, or you might even find that some people are taking it down and building a very big new home. I chose this home at 70 Plymouth Road in Needham because it's very typical of what you're seeing happening in Needham. Needham's a great town with a bustling town center. It's got three commuter rail stations. It's commutable to Boston and also has great schools great restaurants, really fun town. And it's gotten wildly popular in the last few years, and we've seen a lot of teardowns and new builds. So Plymouth Road is in a terrific neighborhood that they call the Ladder Streets. I love this area because it is walk to town and it's a great place for bike riding, for walking with your kids. As you can see, it's close to the middle school, close to a daycare center. So all these streets from Mayo to Wilshire Park are very popular. So the ad for this house says, calling all contractors and buyers who are looking for the perfect location and willing to do some work. I would not tear this down. I would renovate and expand this out the back. Here's another angle of the front. And there's a couple builders that are specializing in this neighborhood and doing exactly that. You would definitely see smaller lots in this area than compared to neighboring Weston, for example. So it's definitely an in-town, urban suburb neighborhood feel. But this could be spectacular. Here is an example of what the homes are looking like that are getting torn down or expanded right in this latter neighborhood. This is 21 Coolidge Ave, which recently sold for 2275. So a builder bought this lot in um, 2021 for 900,000, put up this new home, and this is in the same neighborhood as Plymouth Road. Here's 83 Hawthorne Ave, which was on for 875 and sold for a million dollars even. It closed in May of 2022. So you do also see a fair number of split style homes in Needham. This is another popular neighborhood close to town. As you can see, it's close to Needham High School and to a couple of parks. 83 Hawthorne is definitely in move in condition. So a buyer might want to change the colors, update the window treatments, but it's a pretty house with an easy living floor plan. If I bought this house, I would get rid of this carpet and I would put all hardwood in and I would replace that vinyl in the kitchen. I would get rid of these shutters, take down these window treatments and maybe get a coat of paint on the cabinets to make them white and definitely time for a new uh, fixture over the dining room table, an updated chandelier. Here's another view of the kitchen, updated countertops and some new appliances. And this home could really shine with just a cosmetic facelift. So there you have it, five options in greater Boston in the Western suburbs under a million dollars. So if you are house shopping and you'd like my buyer's guide, feel free to reach out and I'll email it to you. It has a nice comparison of all the towns west of Boston. And remember to subscribe as I'm putting out a new video each week on Boston's burbs.